I am uh, figured I'd make a video about creating many streams of income this morning. I uh, like to, there's a lot of different things I'm interested in. The main thing I'm interested in is I like telling stories. That's my favorite thing to do is tell stories. So, and, uh, you know, I'm thinking about how the website, you know, my main source of income, or at least my my main source of income right now is my job. So I got to keep doing that. You know, and that's, you know, being a high performance employee is a, one way to make money. You know, it's not the best way to make money, but it's a good way to get started making money. And so whatever job you got, do a good job. Do, you know, be a high performance employee and you know, make sure that your company gets a good deal trading with you, you know, and uh, work hard and do a good job. And, uh, you know, the, the kind of my favorite way to make money is to write books, you know, and sell the books on my website, you know, build my website, write books, build a website and sell the books on the website and anywhere else I can sell them, you know, because you got to use your big distribution channels like Amazon and whatever else, you know. I, right now, I use Lulu.com on my first book, and um, yeah, it was a little bit difficult. There's not a lot of... Lulu.com is self-publishing. There is not a, you know, a lot of, you know, technical support or anything like that. There's a system, and it works. But you got to do everything yourself. You got to figure it out and just trial and error. And I, boy, I'll tell you what, that first book was an ordeal getting that thing published, you know. But it wasn't necessarily Lulu's fault. I mean, they have their system and you just have to follow the rules exactly and get all that stuff lined up right. And, uh, you know, so that's what I did. I got it going and... Uh, the uh you write books whatever your story is whatever you're t you know interested in you know tell stories about it. get really good at telling stories Re read poetry and learn how to uh write stories and uh you know because it's fun i like telling stories you know I'm, i guess not everybody's going to be like that you know but I, that's that's my thing is telling stories and so that's what I do. That's my favorite thing to do. And then another good way to make money and network marketing, people say, you know, it has a bad reputation. Some things, bad things happen when they first start doing it. And, uh, you know, so everybody thinks, oh, it's a pyramid scheme. Well, no, not really. I mean, if anything's a pyramid scheme, a corporation is a pyramid scheme where you have one CEO in charge of everything and everybody else has to do what the one person says. That, that's a pyramid scheme. With network marketing, the reason I like network marketing is because in order to be successful in network marketing, you have to help other people succeed in the business. That's how you succeed in the business is by helping as many people as you can, which is in my, that's a good thing. That's a good business to be in is helping other people. You know, other than telling stories, my favorite thing to do is to help other people. That's what I want to do is help people. You know, um, I suffered a lot in my life and I want to help people. I just want to help people prosper as much as I can. Another good one is real estate, buying houses. You know, this one takes a lot, quite a bit of work. They all take a lot of work. You know, none of, none of these are get rich quick schemes. These are work hard and get rich schemes is what they are. And uh, work smart and work fast, you know. But real estate... You buy houses and you you can rent them out one, you know, and each one of them is a stream of income. It may be a small stream of income if you're renting them out, you know, because you got to pay for the maintenance of the building and everything like that. But it's a, a stream of income. So you get streams of income. So every once in a while, you just flip one and, you know, you buy it and you fix it up and sell it for a lot more money. And you can get some pretty big paychecks out of that. But the... Uh, just renting them houses out is one good way to make, you know, a lot of money. 
you know, and because you get a lot of houses, you know, several different houses. You can just go around, you know, and get a deal, and you fix that deal up, and you got that stream of income. And then you go build another one, and then you another one, and another one. Just keep doing it, and uh, so you know. And then you've got to build up. You know, I use PayPal right now. I don't, you know, I don't know if that's the best one to use. I, you know, they're not paying me to say anything about them or anything. I or they're hopefully they won't get mad at me for saying anything about them. I just, you know, but that's what I use. But you can use any kind of company like that uh, just to get paid, you know, because especially like with the book, you know, people have to pay online and so they just pay you and it goes into your PayPal account and, and then you can control. You got to keep all that stuff secure, you know, figure out your security system and build up your local development environment. You know, that's the main reason, you know, with Linux, you know, I've been was reading, you know, I watched a video about Windows development yesterday that kind of, turns out Windows is doing what a corporate should be doing, which is cooperating with Linux. And they're basically, they're, the Windows development environment is based on Linux, interestingly enough. You know, they're, they're trying to make it so that Linux is, it's not necessarily part of Linux, Windows, but it's it's a tool that you can use in Windows. And so that's a good thing. And so I, I think I might check that out. You know, I bought this new computer and a bunch of weird stuff happened. So I ended up with this and I don't really want to get rid of the Windows. I still want to use Linux. You know, I just like Linux. It's fun. It's, you get to control the computer instead of being controlled by it. You know, and I don't know how this new Windows and Linux system is going to work, but the main point about it is, is that you, you build up your local development environment. And then once you get your local development environment, you know, the Windows and Linux part of it, then you start building websites. And your website, you could use WordPress. That's the most popular, and it's pretty easy to get set up and started. You could get started with with a WordPress website and a day easy you can get a website go you know up and running in one day easy uh, with using wordpress bluehost and wordpress bluehost i do have a, an affiliate link for bluehost on this website on my website my website is uh home 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 office dot studio is uh i think that's a great name i i'm not sure how i having the dot studio if that causes any problems with SEO, search engine optimization, but I really like that. I think it's a great, you know, homeoffice.studio, you know, it's, it's better than homeoffice.com, you know, actually. So, but get those multiple streams of income and just, you gotta just work, work hard, work fast, work smart, work safely, you know, always work safely. Be safe and make uh, multiple streams of income. You know, I learned that that name comes from Robert. What is his name? Robert. Uh, one of the I, I listened to a tape one time, a series of cassette tapes. I was walking around looking for houses to buy houses, and I was listening to a cassette tape, and he was talking about multiple streams of income, and. That's right, Robert, what the heck was his name, Robert, something Robert, Robert something, Robert Allen, and he, he was, uh, you know, and that was one of the things he talked about, one of the things he talked about was uh, internet commerce, which when I heard it, that idea, it just kind of the bell went off in my head, and I've been doing internet commerce ever since, I kind of abandoned the real estate project, which I kind of regret doing that, because that is a good, you know, I can do both, you know, Although specialization in one thing is a pretty good idea also, you know, where you just, you get really good at one thing is, is a good idea. And trying to do too many things, you, you don't do very good. You don't do any of them very good. So you got to be conscious of that. And, uh, but be really good at one or two things. You know, I would never get down to one thing, you know, but 
get really good at two or three things. Because you always want to have a, a, an alternate source of income in case one of them dries up for some reason. And uh, so get, get, you know, your streams of income set up and running. And so your little streams of income are coming in to your bank account. You know, can build your computer into a cash machine pumping money into your bank account. That's what I'm trying to do. And that's what I'm teaching you how to do. And that's what this, you know, big story is all about is try you know how to make money because I always felt like the best way you know to solve the income inequality problem is to teach poor people how to make money you know punishing rich people isn't helping anybody you know so we got to stop doing that and rich people are not bad people they're successful those are the people you want to learn from learn how, what did they do how did they get rich and and Whatever you do, don't do be greedy, materialistic or greedy or anything like that. You know, spirituality has got to be your main primary motive at all times and under all circumstances. But learn how to make money. Learn how the rich people think, you know, how, you know, how to think and grow rich. You know, it's a great book by uh, uh, Napoleon Hill, you know, written in the 1920s, you know, Get that, you get a copy of that book and read it. He's got a really good attitude, you know, a little philosophy about how to make money. He studied all the billionaires, or I don't know if they had billionaires back then, but the millionaires in the United States, and he studied them for 20 years. He interviewed them and studied them, and, and then he wrote the book, How to Think and Grow Rich. And uh, another good one is, how to win friends and influence people by my Dale Carnegie. You know, read those books. Those are the classics. You know, read those books and learn how to be successful, how to think successfully, how to be successful. You know, and then find some other ones. You know, I studied uh, Robert Kiyosaki's. I read five or six or seven of his books. And read those and learn how to, you know, you got to learn the math. Uh, you know, accounting, learn how to be an accountant and keep really good records and start keeping records of your financial situation and start, get that system set up on your computer and get it organized and, you know, and then you got your, your network marketing business and you're keeping your eye out for a house that you can buy and, you know, and you're doing all this stuff all at the same time. You know, even while you're working at your job, you know, and uh, just uh, keep working really hard, man. Just, you know, get up every day. You know, you got to take your days off, you know, your holy days off. And, uh, but other than that, work every day. Get up and be productive every single day. And, um, you know, learn how to make money. You know, it's make it interesting and fun, and you know, just just do what you like to do and get good at it, and and get really good at it, and help other people. You know, helping other people help learn teaches you. You know, teaching is the best learning system of all. You know, because you le you learn by there's other ways to learn: reading, writing, all different kinds of ways to learn. But the ultimate way to learn is to teach. You know, you, when you teach something, it, you learn, it becomes more. The only thing is you got to worry about getting you know, stuck in a rut, you know, where you, you're teaching something and it's, it's, it, the feeling is really good and you like your philosophy and you start, you get stuck on that and, and you don't, you stop learning. But it is a good way to learn. So... Create your multiple streams of income and get everything set up. That's that's your job. That's your business is to get a, these multiple streams of income set up and fl with flowing into your bank account. So have a good day. Thanks for listening, and uh, peace be with you.